Dancing. I, that, that jingle is just too good, you guys. Welcome. This is Success Everywhere Digital Workplace Strategies for Professional Services. We are glad that you are here with us today. I am your guide for this morning, Mike DeGeter, coming to you from the beautiful Chicago, Illinois. As you can all probably tell by now, um, you're just viewing our conference for today. So, if you have any questions, if you're curious about anything throughout the four sessions that we have for you today, please make sure to enter that into the uh, question box that's on the page that you're on now. Um, and we'll try to get to those questions as soon as we can. Sometimes we might not be able to get to them, but don't worry, we'll get back to you in a follow-up email as soon as we can. Excellent. So today's event, like I said, and like you saw on the uh, 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 opening theme uh, will feature four different parts. We're going to start off with our keynote covering Digital HQ, the future of work for the professional services industry. Then our session one, I'll talk about the digital sales playbook. We'll move into digital leadership in session two. And then finally, we'll end with our professional panel uh, as our last session of the day. There'll be a little bit of a break in between each one, so don't worry if you need to go up and get that cup of coffee or tea, you will have that time. Now, let's get into our first session of the day. I am super excited about this. This is Claire Lorenz. She is the Strategic Enterprise Account Executive uh, for Salesforce Industries. Um, previously a Salesforce consultant, Claire now serves as a strategic enterprise account executive for the professional services industry, focusing on growth of Salesforce customers and development of a point of view. Claire ensures Salesforce addresses their technology solutions from an industry perspective. During this meeting, Claire is excited to share the work she has done to ensure Salesforce is addressing the challenges professional services customers face from employee experience to client relationship management. Welcome, Claire, and thanks for being here today. Awesome. Thank you so much for that introduction, Mike. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Claire Lorenz, um, and I work at Salesforce as a strategic account executive um, focused on business development and growth for the professional services industry. So as an industry advisor, my whole role is dedicated to adding an industry lens to our point of view and vision, um, keeping a pulse on the industry challenges and trends, and ensuring um, that we're taking those into account when we're solutioning and making product decisions at Salesforce. So I love my job. Um, it's given me some awesome opportunities to really dive into this um, complex industry um and interact with impressive organizations like Sikich. Um, and behind every impressive organization um, there are spectacular people um, so before i dive in i just wanted to say thank you um, thank you to Sikich for having me thank you to everyone on this call whether you're a customer a partner a co-worker of mine or even none of the above um, thank you for making time to prioritize the importance of digital workplace strategies. All right, so as mentioned um, prior to joining Salesforce, um, I was working at Deloitte Consulting as a Salesforce consultant. So I was implementing Salesforce globally as a certified administrator. Um, I was traveling the world, interacting with clients face-to-face -face as their trusted digital advisor, um, showing them the value and competitive advantage of Salesforce. Um, but if we fast forward to now, 
traveling, uh, face-to-face client interactions and in-person demos, all of that for the most part are no longer possible. So consulting firms really need to continue their momentum um, in their client engagement while embracing the digital landscape. Um, It feels like each passing month holds uncertainty, but one thing that is for sure is the future of work. So the work from anywhere world um, is really here to stay and professional services companies and employees need to be successful from everywhere. Um, So I could really go on um, about how um, the, this new normal has posed itself as a challenge, um, but it's not news to anyone, nor does anyone want to hear the phrase a new normal, probably again. Um, So really the moral is that um, the way companies, teams, and individuals work has changed more in the past 20 months um, than at any period in history. So I'm going to focus on the solution side to these digital um, disruption challenges because the future of professional services companies is digital um, and success from everywhere is a topic that may be uncharted territory for parts of your business um, in an industry where people are your product, um, delivering an excellent client and employee experience is not really an option, it's an imperative. Um, So I separated the presentation going forward into these two parts, um, client and employee, um, as both are key pieces to the puzzle of a digital headquarters. Um, And what I mean by digital HQ, it's a phrase that Slack coined, um, but it's really um, digital HQ is the fact that companies are positioning an engagement layer to their technology that connects its teams, departments, partners, and even other companies um, like a headquarters truly would. Um, So starting off with our first um, side of the presentation, the client, um, clients are expecting you know, the same deliverables, timelines, and levels of communication, regardless of Um, what we're facing now. So some articles find um, client expectations are even higher given consultants still have to wear just as many hats, but do so remotely. So when I was a consultant, I found myself operating as all of the roles um, listed to the right um, and more. Um, It's a complex job and oftentimes you can't describe it in one sentence um, at the dinner table. But at the end of the day, Um, Client relationships, success, and value are all priority one and always outweighs um, usually the amount of time you even have in a workday. So for that reason, um, innovation is required to meet clients where they're at. So regardless of environment, professional services companies need to strengthen relationships virtually and continue to capitalize on moments that matter while automating what they can. Um, So regardless of where you're at on a journey with a client, um, we're seeing customers center on the client 360 approach um, with intelligence. So each point on this roadmap is how um, these customers digitally interact um, as a team internally and as well as with the client themselves through Salesforce. Um, So just to call out a few initiatives that I'm working on right now to add some color to this Kind of map. Um, some companies are replacing the weekly stand-up, um, the project status meetings that you might have um, with automated reports that factually inform the client how delivery is going. So a huge time saver and um, one less meeting on both calendars. So some are leveraging digital account plans to map where they have relationship gaps and opportunities to cross sell services, as well as serve as the core guiding strategy to combat, you know, the fact that we're all geographically dispersed teams now um, and account turnover is more difficult to deal with for that reason. So digitizing account plans is a, a huge priority that we're seeing in the overall client landscape and journey in how we approach opportunities. Um, Just a few more, um, some are standing up even Slack Connect channels um, per work stream to be in constant communication with the client. So that is a channel um, dedicated to a specific topic or work stream where you have the client in the channel as well as um, some of the team from the consulting 
practice. So it also serves as a place to share curated thought leadership um, based on intelligence of executives, um, which is an easy landing page for some of these key contacts to come in, um, revisit and review some of the things you've sent them all in one place. Um, so now this map is full of time savers, opportunities for increased productivity and collaboration. Um, but each of these touch points is really fueled by data-driven insights. Um, so in this digital era, companies are seizing the opportunities that data presents um, and they're seeing their results based on that. So pretty much all of the studies are concluding the same thing. I won't read all the metrics, but the bottom line is companies who are more data-driven perform better on key business metrics like revenue growth, customer retention, and profitability. Therefore, data is arguably one of the most valuable resources shaping our world today. Um, many executives do understand this, but they worry that their organizations are not in a good position to take advantage of it. So to harness the power of data means to you know, actually translate it into actionable insights. Um, and Salesforce is a data translator leading your company to action. Um, so in order to capitalize on data, digital transformation is definitely an imperative. Um, but how does Salesforce specifically do that? Um, and especially, you know, how does that relate back to the client um, and intelligent client relationship management or CRM? And overall, what even what even is client relationship management in our current world and climate that we um, just talked about? Um, well, CRM is probably the first thing that you think about when you hear Salesforce, but what is it really? And when answering this question in your head, you definitely use the word relationships and opportunities. Um, that is our bread and butter. Um, but it is not a matter of data tracking for these topics, you know, having contacts, having opportunities. Um, it's the actions and capabilities beneath. So this list is a few of many. Um, but when you really tap into the depth, depth and breadth of relationships and opportunities um, and act action upon um, some of those insights, you really begin to see this world-class synchronized digital experience come to life. Um, so this graphic um, summarizes these capabilities as an integrated approach to relationship building and sales synergies um, when client intelligence is optimized um, in this all digital world. So you can see there are major benefits to embracing automation and expanding um, the lens of how your company is using its technology. Um, so what exactly are the benefits of leaning into, you know, relationship enrichment, opportunity enrichment, um, using data and automation as um, a time saver? So uh, in professional services where relationships are everything, um, and, you know, adding on that multiplier always of the all digital world that we're navigating. Companies are seeing deeper client relationships, um, increased collaboration, quicker ramp times, um, frictionless visibility into key contacts and overall client satisfaction. Um, walking the digital halls with your client is something that I think is difficult to take on, but imperative for this time. So on the other side, the opportunity and sales side, um, they're seeing increased deal size, increased forecast accuracy, and overall more revenue. So really the takeaway is more time um, is freed up when you um, are innovative and more time freed up is more time for client interactions, um, as well as you know predictive relationship guidance that really does strengthen client connections and a single source of truth on key deals and key contacts really increases just simplicity and team alignment, um, which leads into our next topic. Um, so switching over to the employee side of things, um, I personally enjoy when technology and tools make my job easier um, and free up time for those um, client interactions. Um, so with its Kind of heightened importance um, right now employee experience continues to expand its scope um, to encompass you know the day-to-day -day interactions um, and actions of employees and the best firms have realized this and are investing in technology driven modernization to meet and exceed employee expectations so many companies would probably admit um, maybe not to 
<laughs> me or any any way verbally, but many companies would probably admit that employee experience was not always at the top of their list of priorities. Um, but with 68% um, considering a career change and 67% agree that they're close to currently exper experiencing burnout, and just about every headline mentioning the war on talent and the great resignation, um, professional services companies have to find a way to retain top talent, upskill employees, and keep you know the lifeblood of their company strong. Um, so these headlines are really only scary if you're not acting on them. Um, the war on talent does pose a serious risk to this industry, but if you do not let the crisis go to waste and then you know, really see it as an opportunity to do things differently and focus on an area um, that may have been on the back burner or an area that could use more digital enhancement. So um, these two quotes are from Accenture and IBM, um, and they really capture the spirit of what we're seeing professional services companies hone in on, and they're both doing um, employee experience very well. So it starts really with the realization that every touch point the employee has with the company is employee experience. Um, so this includes technology touch points. Um, a great employee experience is human centered, digitally connected, mobile, and designed to remove friction from all aspects of the employee's day to day jobs. So improving employee experience or EX um, requires strategic technology investments that connect employees to knowledge, resources, and people. Um, and companies really need to analyze the pain points of their employees day to day and prioritizing um, and prioritize optimizing these um, areas of weakness. So just taking a look at kind of an employee vision all the way from attracting a candidate, hiring, onboarding, you know, gearing them up for learning and development, actually doing their job, managing their career and getting that feedback all the way higher to retire um, as they are alumni. Um, so this is kind of a look into the digital employee 360 vision, um, whether it's a candidate we're trying to attract or alumni that um, we're trying to re-engage. There are so many ways to digitize experiences that may otherwise be pain points in an analog um, pre-2020 employee journey. So for instance, onboarding to a new project could be difficult remotely without the right technology in place. Um, I personally, if I were a consultant, do not want to join a client Zoom call where I don't have visibility into you know, the project status, where we're at with that specific topic we're discussing and the key contacts on the line. Um, Additionally, when joining a project, I want to have um, an in-context learning plan and um, engage in development that gears me up for my new project. When you are succeeding in your role, um, it directly leads to satisfaction and, and enjoying your job. Um, so another example is simply um, resourcing a project with the right talent based on skills and forecasting um, the supply and demand of your talent. So um, we've seen this happen in the past of, you know, what happens when you close, say, three Salesforce implementation projects without any Salesforce certified consultants. Um, perhaps you staff a strategy consultant to the project um, who down the line quits because they're never aligned to the right project that fits their skill sets or even the job description that they thought they were engaging in. Um, or how about I'm rolling off a project? Um, how can I receive you know, the credit and performance feedback that I deserve so that I feel autonomous over my career path and know that I am um, positioned for promotion? Um, these are definitely larger examples um, to tackle, but overall, I think the employee vision is something that um, companies, especially with the war on talent, great resignation, um, we need to start investing in this area as there are so many opportunities and I get really excited. I only have um, about 20 minutes, so I can't get too excited about all of these um, touch points with Salesforce, but there are so many ways we can digitize an employee experience um, throughout the entire phase before they're an employee, um, while they're an employee doing their job and managing their career, and even keeping that alumni network tight, we know is super important. Um, but again, these are 
all larger um, examples that um, we've seen companies tackle very well. Um, but oftentimes we're simply trying to just remove friction from processes that do not need to be cumbersome and streamline a level of internal collaboration that leaves employees feeling involved, um, prepared, and most importantly, positioned to succeed. Um, so when a company uses email, for instance, as their main means of communication, everyone has their own inbox. Um, it's personal, impartial, and in incomplete view of what's going on. Um, so at the end of the day, everyone is looking at their own version of what's going on at your project, job site, whatever it might be. Um, and Slack is a great example of where we're seeing companies break down this common communication narrative and replacing it with a collaborative canvas um, that harbors a single source of truth, both for employees and clients. Um, so without needing to hop into email or other applications, um, which we call thick work environments, um, employees can rather do thin work like sign off on approvals, update opportunities in Salesforce, provide feedback, um, join a channel to get a pulse for what's going on, um, and much more all within one space. So um, let's take a look at an example, um, IBM um, and the impacts of this. So IBM is one of the world's largest technology companies and has been a true innovation leader for over 100 years. Um, the company 380K plus employees span over 170 global offices, supporting its cloud, SaaS, global markets, and global business and technology services organizations. So to keep them all connected, the company has become the world's largest Slack customer, accelerating work and even eliminating internal email for company announcements. Um, plus, channel-based communication through Slack Connect enables IBM to continue the conversation among its 380K employees, 50K partners, and gosh, like 530K customers um, cutting through inbox clutter across orgs. So services can even pass inquiries between teams to provide faster customer service. Um, with Service Cloud, IBM has transformed the 25,000 employee organization with self-service chatbots, support communities, and the combined intelligence of Salesforce Einstein and IBM Watson. Um, so to deliver even more capabilities in self-service innovation, um, IBM integrates with Copado as well, um, whose automated development features um, prevent downtime and allow IBM's production teams to build better and faster in a less manual way. So innovation continues as IBM deployed um, 30K sales professionals on Salesforce, um, Sales Cloud, and Quip. Um, connecting silo teams, automating those sales processes, and scaling account planning um, with a single source of truth. So really, at the end of the day, the direct return um, of this connected team is not only um, attraction, retention, and motivation, and definitely productivity of the best people, the best talent, um, but this level of engagement of their people also has a positive impact um, on their clients. And kind of to, to summarize, so during the last uh, 20 minutes, I highlighted client relationship management and the importance of incorporating intelligence to your relationships and opportunities, um, as well as employee experience, but all at a very high level with those digital roadmaps. Um, but for the past year, I focused on addressing relevant use cases um, listed here with our platform to help refine our solution sets and deliver value across the industry. So the goal of this slide is really to inspire you to reimagine the depth of Salesforce and the capabilities that we cover um, tailored towards professional services specifically, which stretch um, far beyond the classic definition of CRM. So when optimizing the platform, these categories begin to light up and unlock value and a competitive advantage. So if I had all the time in the world, I would deep dive on each of these with demos and customer success stories. Um, but I'm happy to take questions and conversations offline um, and connect you with the right people to learn more about each of these topics. But overall, there are so many opportunities in this industry 
to digitize, to keep up and future proof um, with whatever is to come next um, in this world. Um, the last 20 months or so have proven that I cannot even speak to what's to come. Um, but one thing is for sure is the future of work and digitizing operations, um, both client facing internal um, to your employees is always going to be important for the time to come. So um, thank you so much for having me um, again on any of these topics um, listed here and functionalities. If you want to learn more, um, please connect with me. But thank you so much for having me and looking forward to a great virtual conference. Um, and I may have hurried through it enough to have five minutes to answer any questions. Um, so I will pass it back over to Mike to see if any questions have come through um, in the chat. Sure thing. Claire, thank you so, so much. Very insightful. I know nobody wants to uh, hear those words, the new normal any, anymore, but I think the new normal might be hearing the new normal all the time. <laughs> Putting that together. True. That, thanks so much, Claire. We really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I do not see that we have any questions for you right now, which means that you covered 100% of what we needed to know. Um, but if you do have any questions, please uh, let us know. We're going to send out a follow-up email. Um, so feel free to respond back to that. We'll get questions. We'll um, uh, perhaps get back to Claire if there's anything she can answer for us and, and get back to you right away. So um, thank you again, Claire. We are going to take a very quick break. And then we'll be back for the Digital Sales Playbook. See you in a bit.